This is the biggest ticket I've ever seen. Boy, what's it doing? Whoa. Okay. What the hell happened? I think I just got sucked into another dimension that looks like this one. Huh. What's going on guys and welcome to another reputized video. Last Action Hero came out back in 1993 and stars Arnold Schwarzenegger and Austin O'Brien. It's all about this little boy who gets sucked into the fictional world of his favorite action hero with the help of a magic ticket. This one was kind of interesting. When I first got introduced to this movie by my brother, I was a kid at the time when I watched it, well more like an early teen, but I thought it was pretty interesting. I gotta say it wasn't Schwarzenegger's best, but it was watchable. And what I mean by that is, it was a little corny. You know, some of the dialogue was real cheesy. There was some cheesy one-liners, and even they actually admit it in the movie itself. This movie is pretty much classified as a movie within a movie. Nowadays, when you hear that expression, you always think of movies where it's about a young guy as a filmmaker trying to make it and he's making movies in the movie. Well, in this case, the little boy gets sucked in to a movie. Literally. It's not like any, any behind the scenes stuff or anything. Although there was one part where Jack Slater character meets up with his other half, Schwarzenegger. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Positives. The characters in this movie wasn't bad. As cheesy as they were, I actually did care for them. Especially Schwarzenegger's character as Jack Slayer, of course. Austin O'Brien, I assume he was like 10 or 11 at this point. He played a pretty good character. He was trying to convince Jack Slater that this is all just a movie. We're all the normal looking women. What about the one cheesy one-liners? You do this and you do that. No matter what you do, you survive. You don't believe me, this is a movie. And nobody ever actually believes them. Spoilers, if you hadn't seen this, you were warned. They go into a video store and they see something in there that made me laugh till I cried. The famous poster from T2 where Schwarzenegger is sitting on his bike with the gun by, by his side. In this movie, it was Sylvester Stallone. They had a cardboard cutting of that same picture, but it was Sylvester Stallone, not Schwarzenegger. <laughs> that was that was pretty funny. The cinematography and the music and the lighting was done pretty well. As corny as this movie was, I couldn't really complain too much about it because it it is what it is. It's one of those not that memorable Schwarzenegger films, but it's watchable, as I said. And the cons, some of the jokes didn't really land that well, like I said with the one-liners and the cheesy dialogue. It, it was trying to make fun of itself. I get that. But some of the jokes in there, it just, it wasn't that much there. Don't give up your day job. But by the third act happened when Slater gets out into the real world, that's when it actually starts getting serious. The bad guy with the glass eye played by Charles Dance, his character was pretty good as a villain. By the time the third act happened and he got a hold of the ticket and he got into our world, it was kind of funny watching him do all the... I mean, it wasn't funny of him actually doing terrible things, like shooting somebody, but the fact that he was trying to get attention, and he realized, wait, what, no cops? No sirens? Yeah, he sees a mugging, and there's nobody around, because that's how real life is. And he's just so used to the fictional side of things, it really confused him in a way, but found himself really interested as well. And the way he was playing it off, it was like, I just shot somebody and I did it on purpose. I said, I had just murdered a man and I want to confess. And then you hear somebody saying, will you shut up down there? And then he's like, <laughs> like I said, this, this movie has its moments. I liked it for what it was. But as far as the rating go, guys, Last Action Hero gets a C+. Like I said, it wasn't that memorable. It, it was 
just something to watch when you have nothing else to watch on TV and it's raining outside. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. My next video will be another unboxing video, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, like, subscribe, get reputized. Look forward to more reviews coming soon. And that's a promise. And a special shout out to all my subs. Blacktastic News, you rock. Cool to the fullest, you are awesome. I really like your content. Bam Movie Reviews, keep up the good work. I enjoy watching your videos and so many other of my subs. I love y'all, y'all give me such great support and I appreciate it all. And also guys, be sure to check out my other YouTube channel called The Reactor Reactions Galore. The link is in the description down below, so be sure to check that out and subscribe. Like the Repster and the Reactor on Facebook, which is also the link down in the description below. Thank you so much in advance for that. Much love to all y'all. Peace the Rep out.